to the Great Commission is about yielding to the command of our Great Father. His will is for people to be saved and the how ultimately belongs to Him. Our own part is to yield. Okay? So, if God decides the how, shouldn't we as Christians not be praying to God for direction then? Uh-huh. You're right, Joyce. You're absolutely right. Speak, okay, come on, guys. Allow her to talk. Mm. So, why do you say so, my friend? Because if this were the case, then no Christian would ever miss it. Let's go. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, you see, Margaret, I'm pleased to tell you that the fact that God can sometimes be silent because He knows and sees all doesn't mean that he doesn't hear the prayer of his children. But the question really is, are we praying the right way? And even when we do, do we yield or do we still go ahead to do what we want to do? When you think about it. So you see, in fulfilling the Great Commission, our hearts must never be drawn to what we want to hear. But rather be drawn to what we need to hear. If you look at it really, there's no point praying to God. If we're still going to go ahead to do what we want, no matter what he tells us, God hears, but we don't humble our hearts enough to know what he wants us to do. And you know, sometimes we go to God in prayer, not stay long enough to know what he wants us to do and how he wants us to do certain things. You see, that's what I'm talking about. Anyway, let's go. As I'm telling you this, a story of a man comes to my mind. A true life story. Really? Yes, a true life story. Oh, I love true life stories. Wow. Okay, come on guys, let's go sit wow. under a big lovely tree so I can get you the full story. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> okay, you see, there was a man named Ignatius. But everyone calls him IG. IG loves the Lord a great deal. And you know what? He reads his Bible daily. Jesus. And he prays regularly. He does this all the time because of his love for God. And because he wants, you know, and because he wants to know God's will concerning his life. And he believes that feeding himself daily with the word of God guarantees him a fruitful life. One day, something happened. Why, Lord, why? Why? I've been asking for you to answer me in this area, oh Lord, I've been praying for revival in this land, you've not answered. Five years, why, Lord, why? Angie was alone with God and was crying. Oh God. Right. Right. I thought you said this story was about a grown man. <laughs> <laughs> Grown-ups cry too, you know. When deeply troubled or emotional, grown-ups do cry. Oh, like when a child is able to freely cry before his father, right? Oh, my goodness. Can you please shut up? You are your stupid question. <coughs> Auntie, come on, mate. Okay, 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 please. Do you know Margaret is exactly right? <laughs> yes, she is. Anyway, back to the story. Angie was questioning God, wondering why he has been silent concerning the area he's been seeking God for direction and instruction. Lord, Lord, I've been praying. All these years, you won't say that whenever I call, you will answer. Is it not your word that says also, Lord, that you are ready help in times of need? Lord, this is my time of need. This is my time of need, Lord, and you've not answered me. The more I pray, Lord, the more people turn their backs to you. The more they become anti God. Lord, I've been asking for revival in this land, in this land, five years, and you're yet to answer. 
answer. Lord, I need direction, Lord. <laughs> I did pray so passionately that he got tired and fell asleep. Suddenly, he experiences a heavenly visitation. Heavenly visitation? For real? Um, like some weird angelic visitation or something? <laughs> I wouldn't say weird, my dear. I would say divine. Your man. Why is your countenance sad? Your soul looks greatly disturbed. Uh, not to worry. This is a personal matter to me. Shouldn't be a business of yours. Okay, and what is so personal about seeking God for direction? <laughs> seeking God for direction? How did you know that? <laughs> you will soon find out, Ignatius. You even know my name? Oh yes, I know your name. In fact, I know more than just your name. I was sent by God to awaken you from your slumber. <clears throat> Okay, okay, okay. I think I need to get a seat for for you, M Mr. Mr. Dom. Minister Dom is my name. Or you can call me by my first name, and that is Wiz. Hold on a second. Wiz, do you know a combination of your names actually sound like the word wisdom? <laughs> well, not many people see it that way. Take your seat, IG. What? <laughs> Thank you. You you know. Is it okay if I call you by your full names then? Wisdom. Sounds okay to me. You see, that's irrelevant right now. Oh, okay. Ignatius. Yes. You know, I said to you that God has sent me to awaken you. You have been praying, but he wants to make them less burdensome. You have been praying to God for a revival, and that prayer is actually a great one. Yes, I know. And it pleases the master so much. Mm. Mm. But do you realize that you are the one who's holding heaven back from the revival? That's not possible. How can you say I'm the one? I pray, I pray, I pray. How can you say I'm the one holding heaven back? They are the ones holding heaven back, not me. <laughs> I'm the one doing the praying. I will show you now. You see, I downloaded something from our hard drive in heaven on my way here. And uh, let me show you before I explain further. Come with me. Okay.
Oh, I got a feeling everything is gonna be alright. Be alright. Wow. Great day. Take the next left. Possible. to turn left after 200 yards. Left? <laughs> Why left? I know this route. <laughs> Calculate route. Turn back to where possible. Turn back to where possible. Recalculating route. Turn back where possible. Right! I can't recognize it. I can't go on. Recalculating route. Turn back where possible. Turn back me. And this technology is this. Turn back where possible. Recalculating route. prompts you on what to do. You don't heed it. The reason many people go through updating their sat nav is because they know that when they update their sat nav is definitely going to take them to where they're going. That's the reason. Why do you pray to God? Why do you seek direction from Him? If you know that you've got your life all figured out. You see, you ask for a revival. In the last five years, God has been showing you and instructing you on what to do. Start a small group. Raise disciples. Let, because the revival was start by the fire igniting in you and a few others. But you thought it was a bad idea. Uh, I didn't see that as the best thing to do at that point in time. By the way, you were talking about this sat nav thing. Yes. I mean, it's only a foolish man that would have a sat nav and 
not follow the instructions of the Satan. Absolutely audacious. Do you know when I said you were holding heaven back? Yes. You are an epitome of that foolishness. I, I wish don't know now. <laughs> Why? I'll be praying. Sit I, down, I, IG. I, I, this thing is... Yeah. You, if you are not, why would you go through the pain? You you see God's face diligently, don't you? Yes, I do. You cry out, Oh God, hear my cry for revival in Islam. Yes, I do. And when he hears you and gives you the instruction, whose instruction should you follow? Yes. And why have you thought it to be a bad idea when he said start a small group? He wants to start from there. Well, I didn't say it was actually a bad idea. What did you say it was? A small group. Why a small group? I was yearning for something bigger. A small group. Why should I waste my time on some small house wait, group? Wait, wait a minute. Did I hear you say waste my time? Are you calling the great God a time waster? No. <laughs> oh, what foolishness. What is your wisdom or knowledge in comparison to his? Hmm. Need I remind you that he is the one who declares the end from the beginning. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, 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 I've heard you, wisdom, okay. It's just that at that point, I was actually of the view that I needed a godly wife to help me fulfill God's purpose in my life. A godly wife, I couldn't do it alone. A godly wife. Yes, sir. Again, it is according to your terms, isn't it? Well, I, I, I thought that was the right thing at that time. <laughs> well, can I just mention this to you? You talked about a godly wife, that you were praying to God for direction. Yes, sir. Concerning the godly wife, isn't it? Yes, sir. Do you know that God actually did answer your prayer? Not that it matters to the work he has in hand for you, but he did answer your prayer. But as usual, you know yourself. You, it seems like you've got it all figured out. Remember the O2 ground, uh, uh, the Holy Ghost Convention at the O2 ground last year? Holy Ghost Convention. Yes, I remember. Yes, I remember. I'm glad you do. So what do you remember about it? Well, <coughs> I'm getting a bit excited now. The Holy Ghost Convention, I didn't actually plan going there. I went to see a friend. Okay. We were driving in this vehicle, and this vehicle developed a fault. We called for an engineer to come and fix it. The engineer was going to take a couple of hours to come. So instead of waiting there, doing nothing, we decided to go to the O2 ground because it was just close by. And coincidentally, they were having some Holy Ghost. <laughs> we didn't plan to go there, actually. We didn't plan to go. No, no, hold on a second. I was talking about a godly wife. What's the relationship between that godly wife and O2 ground? I knew you were Well, you give me a minute. I've got something to show you. Does this face look familiar at all? Yes, it do. Yes, yes. The person that comes to mind, though, is um, a, a bit skinnier and looks a bit malnourished as well. This can't possibly be the same person. No, no, is it? Well, the person you are referring to, um, is she by any chance named Deborah? No! How do you know that? That's Deborah Imohe! <laughs> but this can't possibly be Deborah Imohe. No, not at all. No, not this one. This is Deborah Imohe. The same lady that God ordered your step to at the O2 ground. I heard you mention that it was by accident. It was by no means an accident. It was all part of the plan. God heard your prayers. You sought him for direction. And he ordered your steps to the O2 convention. Mm. But when you got there, you got close to Deborah. You connected. We thought in heaven that everything was working according to plan. I thought it was. Then what happened? In the usual way. It's, all, you, it's like you've got it all figured out. You started desiring worldly pleasures. You started looking at faults in the life of Deborah. Someone that looked all perfect for you before. She no longer became perfect. You started looking at her inadequacies, Ignatius. I thought I was doing the right thing. Of course you were not doing the right thing. You were seeking perfection in someone. A state in which no mortal man, no you, I've ever attained. <laughs> I do. 
That was the woman that God had for you. Again, I ask you, why seeking for direction? If you know you've got your life all figured out. <laughs> oh Lord, I have constantly erased your will from my life and my worldly desires. Lord, please have mercy. Bring that more of life in my life again, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. You see, our God is a merciful God. Yes, yes, He is. And this is the reason He has sent me to you to show you the state of your heart, particularly concerning the areas you're praying about. Otherwise, you'd just be wasting your time praying. That's enough for today. Of course, why not? Many more things that I need to show you that God has in store for you. Oh, He's a merciful God. Thank you, Lord. And I have money. Actually, take it. Okay, good man. It will guide you further. Thank you, sir. Thank you. of our great commander is what the great commission is about because in obeying the command of God we will be able to effectively make disciples of Jesus come on guys let's go so the great commission is about marriage Whoa, not again. Like, like, with an answer. Uh -uh. Oh my gosh. like the story of Ignatius Okay, guys, just give Margaret a break, okay? Okay, come on, Margaret. To answer your question, I would say yes and no. What? No, because, yeah. No, because the Great Commission is broader than that. Yes, because the Great Commission can be linked to, you know, um, call to marry the world, and also, it can, be, it can be linked to God's great mercy. You see, when we as Christians learn to yield to the instruction of our great God, particularly in the area of going into the world and make, making disciples for Him, we will see that we can not only achieve this through evangelism, but through our daily living at work, in school, school. Yeah, at home, in fact, in our community. What am I saying? Everywhere, really. 
What matters is that we answer the call to go. I die in the army of the Lord. I'm gonna fight until I die. 